Hi everyone, welcome back to Foster and Grow. Yeah, glad to be back with you after a bit of a time away, isn't it, Jared? Um, Close to 12 months, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of time, but I'm sure you'll understand why. So what have we got to bring to everybody today, Jared? Yeah, so today we'll be talking about succulents and in particular their colour in winter and how they change. Excellent. So when dealing with winter colour and succulents, the first thing you need to consider is basically that winter is a form of environmental stress for these plants. And what this does is it requires the plants to basically make a few changes. And I'll just get Gareth to talk about the first couple now. So two of the main pigments succulents develop in response to stress um, at winter times are anthocyanin, which is your blue violet and red shades. The second type is the carotenoid, which are your yellow and orange shades. Jared's gonna quickly tell you why you'll get this sort of response in your beautiful plants during winter. Yeah, so as Gareth was discussing, you've got a couple of pigments here which are producing a range of colors, but at the same time, as the daylight um, and temperatures decrease, what you'll find with the succulents as well is they'll have a decrease in the amount of chlorophyll, which is their green pigments, which are used for uh, photosynthesis. And what this causes here is basically the plants, um, other pigments will then tend to become more visible because the chlorophyll is less um, abundant within the plant. So a really interesting fact is that succulents aren't just putting on these beautiful colors just for the hell of it. So the carotenoid and anthocyanin production is actually increased within the plant to help combat the stress of falling temperatures. So in terms of these changes, um, for the specific protections these um, changes make, the anthocyanin is actually particularly important and helpful in stopping the plant from getting damaged in freezing temperatures. Uh, so it does this by basically protecting the water inside the plant and the tissues from turning to ice and then in turn damaging the plant. So this is why you get such beautiful shades of blue, violet and red in cold hardy succulents. So now we're gonna show you through some of the beautiful succulents we've got in our garden, which do exhibit those incredibly vibrant colors during the colder months for us. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to find one that you like to add to your collection. Enjoy.
Yeah, so thanks again for joining us. Uh, great to be back in front of the camera. Uh, we'll try to make sure we don't spend another year making another video, <laughs> but um, anything else for them, Jared? Um, no, just um, if you like the video, throw us a like, um, sub, and uh, yeah, hope you've had a great um, week.